one. Norman Rockwell is um, a great icon, and there's no reason not to celebrate his art and his life. Two, the drama. His life is very different than the pictures he painted. There's always a great unexpected story. And number three, and this is really relevant, the four freedoms are four essential human rights for all time. What if we turn those ideas into war posters? Freedom from want, freedom from fear, freedom of speech and prayer so dear. Nothing grand or elegant, small town scenes but relevant, will tour them from state to state. At showtime we turn on the speed, <laughs> often bleak. just met at the boarding house in New Rochelle. Norman is completely smitten and is positive Irene is the one for him. What favorite party game. <laughs> no one takes it seriously, except for Irene, who falls in love with another man. Norman's world comes crashing down when Irene goes to Reno for a quick divorce. Norman flees to LA and swears off women forever <coughs> until he meets Mary Barstow. <laughs> to me when I see a painting. I was just at the New York Historical Society two nights ago and saw the Rockwell exhibit of the Four Freedoms. Well, I've been involved with this project for a while and uh, uh, I was just pleased to be a part of it. Um, to be able to tell this story because it's a story that needs to be told. A lot of people don't know about his life and the changes that he went through and what he did for the country in terms of his illustrations that were able to uh, be sold to, to buy war bonds to help further the cause of World War II. So, and that's what's interesting about the show is that whatever your bent is, you will walk away from the musical feeling like an American.